So hello and welcome back to Goomadi Coins and Banknotes and today we have this lot of 8 coins that are purchased for 20 bucks. So we just want to see if I actually purchased $20 worth of coins or I purchased quite a lot more. And well basically I can tell you now is that uh, this is quite a lot more than $20. So we'll go from the lowest value to the highest value. Okay, so the first coin we have is the Yugoslav one dinner from 1965, one year issue. Now, this one has Latin on this side, Cyrillic on this side, has a mintage of 75 million. So this coin I wouldn't sell by itself, it's not even worth a dollar. Uh, I'd sell it in a group of Yugoslav coins. Yeah, so basically that one's worth less than a dollar, not really worth that much. The next coin we have is a German one Deutschmark. 1970 obviously EF condition not that much wear but it has some scratching uh, it has some looks like blue tack yeah that can come off okay J mint mark has a mintage of about 10 million and uh, this one seems to be a rotated coin so yeah so turn around that way it's rotated coins, yeah, so probably only about four or five bucks of that. As a ro slight rotation, could be a bit less, but you can exchange these for 50 euro cents uh, at the Bundesbank. So basically, yeah, it's still not legal tender, but you can still exchange it with current currency. Okay, so then we have a coin from East Timor. So 1970, so this is the last year of issue of this denominational mintage. Uh, the Indonesians invaded in 1975, but that's when the rupiah was introduced into circulation. Currently, they use the US dollar, although they mint their own coins. So, one escudo, one year issue, it's made out of bronze, and... It's 7.87 grams and 25 millimeters. They sell for about five to ten dollars. Mintage is only one million, but not too many people actually want this coin uh, because East Timor is just not a popular country. Okay, the next one we have is an Australian coin, a half penny. So, this is a first year of issue of George VI. So, this coin is a mintage of about three million. This is in very fine grade because the actual hair has lost a lot of detail. So these ones sell for you know less than five dollars. So those ones are the ones that are not really uh, worth that much. Okay, then we have a Bolivian coin. This is a copper nickel issue. And it's the last year of issue of a copper nickel coin for this denomination. 1942 they issued this coin as when you type in zinc and this is a 10 centavos and it has a caduceus so that's a staff with snakes going around with wings and it represents Hermes or Hermes the god is supposed to uh, use this but it's Derived from a Mesopotamian tradition, a god named, I'm looking it up, Ningiz Zida, or whatever, that's in Ningish Zida, so that's in Sumerian, so basically on the screen, I do have the actual god's name, so that's what this coin is derived from the imagery so it says 10 centavos 1936 and on the back so no so this is the front of the coin just at the country's name with the coat of arms this one's in very fine condition and the mintage for this coin is 10 million so not really a hard coin to get but in this grade you know toward about five to ten dollars so that's an okay coin then we have a one pingo from Hungary, first year of issue. So this is a 1926. So these are just says Kingdom of Hungary. 
uh, has a coat of arms. On this side we have olives, on that side we have oak. Then we just have uh, a nice pattern on for the actual rim. One pingo, BP. No, that's not a petrol station, it just means Budapest. And uh, the mintage for this coin is 15 million. And the silver value is about four bucks. But I see these sell for about uh, 10 to 15 dollars so that's a nice coin with silver value you're not going to get them for silver value okay so then then we get into expensive coins so here we have a 20 cents from nicaragua so this is our 20 centavos obviously they can abbreviate however they want and this is a one year issue and there's h down below for heaton so they're minted in the uk there's a mintage of 1 million Silver V is about five bucks because the silver content is 80% of five grams, so that's four grams of silver. But these ones are hard to get. I see they have them listed for about 40 to 50 dollars. So I'm going to price this one because of the damage on the coin for about 30 dollars. So this one is actually more expensive. And the last one we call we have is a 10 centimos from France. So this is a uh, punch mark coin. So this was a 20 decimi, uh, which they got rid of the actual two. This is a 20 gram coin. So it has anno, looks like five, and it has A for the Paris Mint. So I don't find too many of these coins, but I see that these ones sell for, because it's repunched, for about $50 to $100. So I'd say $75 for this coin. Uh, it does have a lot of wear. On this side we have a Mariam for Liberty for France, Republic Franchise. And here's the actual rim of it, which is an anti counterfeiting feature. And this is the highest denomination issued after the French Revolution. And the curious thing is that the reason why they issued the 20 decimi as a 10 decimis was the original 10 decimi was 10 grams, but that was the same weight as the 5, and also the diameter of the 5 and 10 were the same. So it got people confused, so they decided just to demonetize the 2 decimi and Redenominate them all as one decimal, so that got rid of that confusion. So basically, all up, uh, just this coin alone pretty much got back more value. Uh, these ones not really worth much, the only coins that are worth much are the ones down below. Anyway, I'd like say thank you very much and have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time.